I'm going to do an exercise for Wright-Patterson Mahjong. I call this exercise Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to practice making quick decisions. If you play with people who are maybe a little faster than you, this is a good way to build your skills or maybe practice for playing in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with Stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints, and I'll draw cards to identify which player we are and which player is prevailing. For the first one, we're going to be north, player four and north is also prevailing. We'll get 13 tiles for the first sprint. We have honors, winds dragons, Mostly BAMs, pair of sevens. I'd focus on one suit and honors. Let's pass these three. We got an east. Let's pass these three. BAMs and a dragon. Okay, we have a four. Almost news. Let's see. You know what I think I would do? I think I'd play a hand of honors. A one lap. I would play a hand of honors. Maybe angels. If we don't get the other ones and nines, maybe we could even play Asian hash for a plan B. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. For the next one, we're going to be east, so we'll get 14 tiles, and west is going to be prevailing. Northwest, south, four, six, nine in cracks, four, five, six, nine in bams, and a pair of twos with a six in dots. I think I'd play a hand of honors again. Since we have a pair of nines, I think I would keep the bams. I'd break up the two, maybe pass these three. Okay, we got bams and a white dragon. There's a terminal there. Here's two, two tiles to pass there. We have almost news. I think I would let the nine go and switch back to one suit and honors. We got a bam and a west. We are east and west is prevailing. There's one tile to pass. We might be able to play windy gates. Maybe we can pass two. One blind. Lap. Two discards. We'll really, really five discards if we play Windy Gates. But we could also maybe play News Lineup. I'd say we have three discards and options. I would continue to gather, but keep an eye on Windy Gates. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write Sprint 1 and let me know what category you would focus on.
this one's gonna be less, so I have 13 finals. We have a Charleston here, and East is prevailing. North, south, three dots, pair six. One, two, six, eight in cracks, pair six. Eight, bam, pair, and a nine. I think I would play probably one suit in honors. We do have sixes here. We could maybe try for try numbers if we get the other six. I think I would break up the eight and focus on cracks. We've got a five and a red. I would break up the six past these. White and a north. We have two tiles to pass, north, south, red, white. I think I would let that go and maybe look at Betty. Three, five. Lap. We have the makings of Betty here. We have two pair. We just need one more pair. Green dragon, east and west. I think that was a pretty good Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write Sprint 3 in the comment section below with what you would focus on. Let's see how things went with time. Whether you are new to the game or you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, practice making quicker decisions. It'll speed up the game or maybe prepare you to play competitively. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.